fun. You won't believe how much I paid. Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. I have some great stuff to share with you. I just got done with my favorite neighborhood garage sale and um, it's funny, I forgot about it. How is that even possible? I forgot about it. I wound up getting there at one o'clock and they closed at three. Um, so, you know, they had the whole day before and then the whole morning today, but I still picked up a couple of things. I'll share those with you later. But the story is, I like to tell stories. <laughs> the story is, that on the way home, like it wasn't very far away from there, as I was driving down the street, I saw a garage sale sign. And I don't usually stop at loan garage sales. I may have had this discussion before. But I don't know, something prompted me to stop at this garage sale. And literally, as I'm just about to the, the point where, you know, I had to either turn or not turn, I <laughs> turned the wheel, I was going a little too fast even, turned down the road, went down there to go to this sale, and oh my gosh, am I glad that I did. I don't know what the deal was, somebody asked him about the house um, at this garage sale, and the guy said it was his, so I don't know if it was an estate, or if he bought the house and all the contents that sometimes happens but he was getting rid of stuff and like he was getting rid of stuff um so i did film a little bit and i asked him if i could so that was kind of funny um and i wound up giving him my card and uh so i filmed and i'll put it here um i filmed there was a whole box full of littles and you guys know how much i love littles and once i got there they and that was christmas stuff i was like oh my gosh i have to film so i'll put that here you guys can see that and then i'll share with you what i picked up so here's all oh. kinds of fun <laughs> digging stuff I'm like oh look i think people just enjoy the hunt I know I do. <laughs> you broken? No, that's glue. Do you have a mate? Yeah, there's your mate. Is that YouTube just with your group, or do you do it? <laughs> Any tools, I hope? No, no, no. Oh. Not much of tools. Not this time around. Maybe next one. We'll have some more tools. But, uh, there's might be a couple of saws or I don't know what's left on the shelf over here. But uh, just a new shelf. Yeah, just, like, just look around. Sure thing. It's kind of scattered yeah. all around. Sure. More stuff in the house. Oh, it's just a little bit. Yeah. What's that, huh? The desk, the tables, the shelves. I need mean, well, I need a new work bench. Instead of buying I was hoping to get steel in. Steel pot. I don't need any more displays. I already grabbed that. I don't have any room to display that. Isn't that cute? Just the like one, not the grinder one. I like that. Oh, these always come in handy. That's really cool. Let's see. Oops. Let me. What's this? This had a glass ball on it at one time. Look at that. That's just really cool. Right? So 
here's the deal. I asked him about this one piece and that kind of sealed the deal for me that I knew that I was in the right place because at all of those yard sales in that development that I went to, um, there were a lot of people that had vintage things, but they were priced up, you know, I up for a yard sale. Um, some of them were, you know, prices that I would expect to find in an antique store if they had vintage and most of the time they don't have vintage. However, I picked up this guy, this beautiful toucan and he says Hawaii on the bottom and he is made in Japan and he's very old and I picked him up and I took him over there and I said how much are you asking for for this and he said a dollar and I'm like and then he kind of said is that enough or I I'm actually wondering if he might have even changed his mind and said 50 cents I don't remember I said I looked at him and I said oh okay well how about I just start making a pile <laughs> So actually, I picked up so much stuff from that Christmas table that I wound up um, asking him for a bag because I was afraid that I was going to shatter things, and I'm glad I did. Um, in the end, my little toucan actually has been repaired, um, but it's not a bad repair. I mean, I mean, it's there, you can tell, but it's not a bad repair. Either that or it's just a crack and it's never been repaired. I thought it was repaired. But anyway, I, I, it's a vase. Isn't that cool? I love it. So let me share with you the bag of goodies that I got. And I paid for the whole bag, one price. You won't believe how much I paid for everything. I'll share that at the end. All right, there's a few of these in my bag. Um, these are the little glass mercury ornaments. There's several of these in my bag. Um, I won't show them all to you. I think I got maybe a total of four of those. <laughs> this is just the kind of kitschy weird stuff that I adore. Little Friar 36 cocktail napkins. But it's funny, I don't think there there's other napkins on top. So let me share with you the other napkins that are on top first. These are fish napkins. Forget the birds and the bees, mom. Where do fish come from? <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, quit stalling. Smart Alec claims he's the breaststroke champion. Anyway, there's a whole pile of these. And, all right, so these are the fish ones, whole pile of fish ones. And then here's the ones that came with the box. And guys, these are copyright 1956. Isn't that awesome? And there's several other designs, too. I won't take up time showing them all to you, but they're really fun. This is from Hong Kong, or made in Hong Kong. I just thought it was adorable, and I love it. Um, it does have a little break there on the side, but still adorable. Love these. Guys, I was so excited to find this. This is staying with me. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Now, in the video that I shared with you, I showed you a similar one of the little duckies that was missing its um, beak. But this little guy, he's intact. He has some wear on his nose, but I don't care. I think he's fabulous. Here's another one. These uh, unsilvered ones, if I'm not mistaken, were during the war. So they made them without the silvering during the war. That being the Second World War. I love these when I find them. Oh, aren't they fabulous? I don't think you can see all the flocking. Look at that. And then underneath they have the little bells. I've come across these before that have been broken, uh, but this one is in very nice condition. And I, whenever I find them like this, I grab them. And then here's a bell. This is a bigger mercury glass bell. These are glass. They have replacement um, toppers on them, but they're really fun. A beautiful, large, shiny, bright indent. It's a double indent. 
I got excited about this one too. This one's going to stay with me. Isn't it adorable? And see, I like, oh, where's we at? And see, I like clowns. So the idea that this cute little clown is sitting on this ornament, <laughs> I love it. Got one of the shiny bright UFO ornaments. Got this beautiful one, has a poinsettia on it. Isn't it gorgeous? Love it. And it's, it's silvered too, but it's old and it's losing some of its silver and I love that. So in that box of ornaments that I was um, looking through, I found these fish. Um, I thought that they were made in Japan, but it actually says yellow perch on the bottom. But they do have crazing on them. I think they are made in Japan. Um, they're definitely older. But whoever they, I knew that they were salt and pepper shakers. But whoever had them before put monofilament on them and made them <laughs> into ornaments. So I have both of them. They're fun. I found this inside the house. Um, there weren't that many things inside the house that I found. But look at this little planter with the deer on it. I love it. And inside, there is a piece of uh, real cotton. It's fun, so I, I kept that. Um, it does have a little crack on the inside, but only on the inside. So it doesn't go through. So yeah, I was real happy to have that. I don't know who makes it. It has an interesting bottom that I'm not familiar with. Um, and there's no markings on it, but still, it's a deer. So I'll take a second and say, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to uh, subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And uh, as always, leave me a comment. It, it really helps the channel out. If you can't think of anything to say, just say hi. That always helps too. And a thumbs up is always appreciated. Now, if you've been watching for a while, though, you know that I love little things. That's why I got so excited about that box. Well, when I went into the house, look at what I picked up. I'm going to show it to you a little bit closer, unless you can tell what this is. Can you see what that is? It's this little tray of teeny, tiny turtle candles. Look at how small that is. Will it focus? It never wants to focus. Look at how tiny this little turtle candle is. Oh my gosh. Uh, there are no markings on them, but they are different colors. So um, there's a blue turtle, a purple turtle, orange, pink, and green. Oh my goodness. Um, I had no idea the age, but too cute. I wasn't going to let it stay there. <laughs> All of that stuff that I showed you, all of those amazing vintage Christmas ornaments, everything. When I went at the end and I said, okay, so this, I'm done, how much for everything? And he goes, $5. I'm like, really? He goes, you want to pay more? <laughs> I'm like, $5 is fine. I will gladly pay you $5. So I got all of that stuff for $5. I think that was amazing. So I mentioned the neighborhood yard sale. I'm going to put that footage here and share the hall here. Seven for five to start. Yeah, right, right, yeah. All right, last thing I need. I shouldn't even be looking. Don't look at the picture. You don't want the hanger. I have to stand up. You can go, Jack. I got you. Yeah, you're the only one that has to do it. <laughs> That's a good plan. <laughs> yeah, not not you, man, but no, we got a wine rack. <laughs> I thought, well, that's a really good plan, you know? <laughs> but yeah, if you touch anything else, then you gotta buy it. Oh, Yes, I 
a picture for me. So I thought I would do a really quick haul of the stuff I picked up at the um, neighborhood garage sale today. Um, just a mishmash of stuff. This was these things here were in the f a free box. As was this. This is old um, sequin trim. I paid fifty cents for this beautiful box. This was in the free box. I might actually make myself a wreath. I bought these for a dollar a piece, and I just adore the fashion in them. Aren't they wonderful? Oh my goodness. So there's that one. This is McCall's patterns, but look, 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 look. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. Oh my gosh. And then look at the cover of that one. Oh my goodness. And this one actually gives the, um, has like the pattern numbers and all the information like a pattern catalog very cool I picked up a couple of Pyrex lids they're the same um, they were a dollar a piece isn't this guy cute he's a wall pocket in the end I think she actually just threw that into my purchase um, yeah Love him. My daughter goes to a school that has uh, tigers as a mascot, so she might be interested in that. All right, so I found some good vintage at a garage sale. Look at this dresser set. It has um, the powder box there. It has the mirror. It has scissors. It has the nail uh, buffer thing here. Another powder box. It has the utensils here. It has a button holder. And then, guys, look at this. It has lipstick. Isn't that wonderful? Actually, I don't think this goes with it, but she did throw it in there. Isn't that fun? I paid $20 for that set. At the same yard sale with the dresser set, I got this box of doll furniture. Oh, these are great. Absolutely wonderful pieces. She gave me this whole box of doll furniture and made me take the whole box. I only wanted these two pieces. <laughs> but she gave me the whole box for $4. Then from that same house where I got the dresser set and the other stuff, I picked up this set of two Fire King um, swirl pattern mixing bowls. And I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that she was only asking $5 for the pair of them. And I've had these before, actually, in the Jadeite. Um, but, yeah, these were cool. They don't glow. All right, that's it. That's not bad for about an hour and a half of uh, yard sailing in that uh, neighborhood yard sale. I did go to quite a few sales to get this much but most of it I found from that one house that had vintage and I've been there before um it's like I said it's my favorite um neighborhood garage sale thing so I knew they had vintage so when I was driving around with limited time I made sure I stopped there and I was rewarded thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video bye for now